Spick and Span, America's once-over cleaner for linoleum, painted walls, and woodwork. And Joy, the sensational new liquid suds maker for dishwashing, present Search for Tomorrow. Dishes go from grease to shine in half the time with Joy. Joy, the wonderful new lotion soft liquid detergent. In Joy, you get a special grease cutting ingredient that no soap, no powder detergent, no dishwashing product of any other kind can give you. You never in all your dishwashing life saw grease cutting to beat this. And your hands feel so good in Joy's lotion soft suds. Look, no specks or soap scum. And you save all that wiping time. Yes, dishes go from grease to shine in half the time with Joy. Because there's so much grease cutting power in Joy, you'll find one bottle washes almost as many dishes as two large boxes of soap powders. That's economy your eye can measure. So do your dishes with Joy. Yes, Joy. <laughs> joy in a bottle beats anything in a box. And now, search for tomorrow. Well, you need something. Now, come on, get inside and don't argue. Gentlemen? Two scotch and soda. I don't want a scotch. All right. Okay, sir. That's better. Arthur, uh, let's not sit at the bar. Okay. We'll be sitting in the booth. Feels good to sit down, huh? You know, I've been walking since yesterday afternoon. Walking, thinking, thinking, walking, walking. After a while, it gets to be too much trouble to put one foot in front of the other. You get tired of doing both. What you need is about 24 hours of sleep. Yeah, well, I'm gonna sleep. Sleep like a baby. Now that the walking and thinking are over, now that I've finally come to a decision. What kind of a decision, Art? I thought lawyers were more astute, Nathan. Students of human nature. I was sure you'd have guessed by now. Well, I haven't. Well, I'll have to tell you that, won't I? All right. I'm leaving, Henderson. Another drink, bartender. Yes, sir. What did you say? I'm shaking the dust of this fair city from my shoes forever. You're joking. If I am, I've done a lot of walking for nothing, let alone all the sleep I've missed. Oh, it's too much effort to stay here, Nathan. Too much trouble. I'm a practical man. When a man's gone to as much trouble as I have to come to a decision, he deserves a return. At least some peace. No, that's, that's what I want most of all, peace. Peace of mind. What about your investment in the motor haven? Ah. All right, then, let's put it another way. What about Joanne Barron? I intend to forget all about Joanne Barron. Just like that? Just like that. And why not? She'll get along fine. She's getting along fine now. She's 
an intelligent woman. A good woman. Smart and practical. She doesn't want trouble any more than I do, and that's what she'd have if I stayed. No, Joe will get along fine. She's got everything under control. She needs your help, Arthur. Look, my usefulness out there is over. It's more than one woman can handle. She's got... <clears throat> She's got Stu and Marge Bergman. If they're not enough, she can hire someone else. Now I've thought it all over. From now on, that motor haven is not my worry, not my trouble. I'm my trouble. Arthur. I'm my own worry. Arthur, you... Because I carry it around with... Me, Arthur, not... But not much longer. Not much longer. Arthur, you can get rid of that trouble. I'll have another drink, bartender. No, not that way. I mean the way you've always done before. By being practical. By facing facts. Look, Nathan, I'm too tired to listen to lectures. Don't you know what's wrong with you? Don't you realize why you're acting like a schoolboy, hopeless... Don't you realize why you're acting like a schoolboy who's hopelessly in love? And that's what you're acting like, Arthur, a schoolboy hopelessly in love. You know why, Arthur? Because you are in love. Goodbye, Nathan. Oh, no, you don't run that. Now, listen, look, I got an important meeting to be here with you because we're old friends. Now, that didn't trouble me. It shouldn't be too much trouble for you to hear me out. All right. Make it fast, will you? You tried to run away from trouble once before, remember? And you couldn't run fast enough. It caught up with you. Yeah, well, I'm older now and smarter. Why don't you tell Joanne? No. Then let me tell her. Listen, if, you... if you did, there wouldn't be any trouble. There couldn't be any trouble. You mean I wouldn't have to run? That's right. Patty's getting fond of me, too. She looks up at me and takes my hand. Well, she won't do it anymore. Arthur. Don't fight life. Accept it. It has so much to oh, offer. Oh, look, I, I've had a taste of what life has to offer. You think that Joanne Barron and Hazel have anything in common? I mean, aside from the fact that they're both women. Well, do you? Do you? No, I don't think that Hazel and Joe have anything in common, but... But I don't know for sure. That's the that's trouble I'll never know for sure. I'd always be watching and waiting. That's no good. It's as bad for Joe as it would for me. No, my decision stands. I'm leaving Henderson for Joe's sake as much as for my own. Well, then, at least tell her why. Look, I've thought this whole thing over, Nathan. And I've decided that I'm just going to disappear. I don't ever expect to see her again. You don't ever expect to see her again? No. And I think I'm being very fair about it. Because I know that if I stay, I'll cause her a lot of trouble. I made my decision. I'm going to stick to it. All right. Then I'm afraid I'm going to have to do something I never thought I'd do. Now what? Violate a confidence. Look, if you try. What? Nathan, understand. This, this is a matter of honor, of ethics. When I came to you with my troubles, I didn't come as a friend to a friend. Not only that, I did, but I also came as a client to a lawyer. Just the same. There's a client to a lawyer. Nathan, you can't violate that confidence. You won't go to Joe without my permission, will you? You haven't answered my question. Arthur, you'll be playing a terribly dirty trick on her. You'll be playing a dirty trick on yourself, too. Look, you won't go to her without my permission. You won't violate my confidence. Well, I guess I'm just as silly as you are. Thanks, Nathan. Well, for the love of Mike, where have you been? Hello, Mr. Wall. Hello, Mr. Bergman. Do you know that we've been calling the town for you? 
No, I didn't know. Well, we certainly have. I've been doing practically nothing else. Joe and Patty are almost nuts. You mean to tell me you didn't get any of Joe's messages? Not even the one about the road commissioner? Look, you'll have to excuse me, Stu. Oh, well, you better phone Joe right away. Let her know that you're still alive, at least. The poor kid's almost sunk. Well, isn't that too bad? What? I said, isn't that too bad? You've heard of troubles? Well, he's got them. This week, you can clean all your kitchen linoleum in the time it used to take to clean this small patch of linoleum. Yes, in half the time and with half the work of soap or newest detergent. How? With new Spick and Span. Thanks to Spick and Span's amazing cleaning power, the mop or cloth need only be damp. Then once over, no going back a second time to rinse and a third time to wipe dry. See? Dirt, grease, even heel marks vanish. Just once over, and linoleum dries instantly gleaming clean, ready to walk on or wax. You can replace the furniture the miniature through. Remember, just once over lightly with new Spick and Span. No rinsing, no wiping, once over. It's grand. Change down to five. Five. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh, uh, Mr. Walsh. You said Arthur has troubles. What kind of troubles? You'll have to ask him. And if he tells you, you tell me, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, what am I going to tell Joe? I wish I could advise you, Mr. Bergman. But I'm afraid I can't. Shampoo, creamy rich, like the most expensive facial creams, by Shasta, softest of the cream shampoos. If you want oceans of luxury lather, buy Shasta, with the creamiest lather of all. For hair that's far, far softer, shining with natural color, buy Shasta. So many reasons to choose Shasta, plus one more, Shasta's exciting new beauty bargain. Now. Buy 89 cent Shasta and get the generous 29 cent jar free. So look for Shasta wherever you buy cosmetics. Get two generous jars in this Shasta special. Buy the large 89 cent jar, get the 29 cent jar free. You save with Shasta. Year's most exciting two for one beauty bargain. Buy Shasta, softest of the cream shampoos. for Tomorrow is brought to you every day, Monday through Friday, by the new liquid detergent, Joy, for spectacular grease cutting in the dishpan, and Shasta, the softest of the cream shampoos, for hair that's far softer and brighter. This is the CBS Television Network.